This video shows the steps necessary to create a knurled object such as this using Blender 2.5. Start with let's delete the existing knurled object. Hit Shift A and add a cylinder. Make sure that the end caps are turned off. Let's go in a front orthogonal view. Scale the cylinder to 0.1 only in the Z direction. Hit Tab to go into edit mode. Control R for a ring cut and cut it in the middle. Click twice click subdivide, go to face select mode, hit B for block select, and we're going to select these inner triangles, hit X, delete faces, select all with A, type F to fill in the faces, hit tab. Now we're going to stack these on top of one another by adding an array modifier. I can get to it. So it's going to be uh, not in the X direction, so it's zero. We're going to stack them one unit high in the Z direction. We'll do about seven of them. Click apply. Go in the tab mode. Hit W to remove doubles. Now notice these triangles. We're going to turn those from tries to quads. So you can hit Alt J or you can go to the mesh menu and go to faces, tries to quads. Now we want to extrude these faces outward. We can't just type E however. We have to extrude them along individual uh, face centers. For that you hit uh, either Alt E I believe, but Alt E doesn't work for me all the time so I like using the menu extrude individual see the faces coming out here and I'm just going to make it a point one five. Go ahead and start rotating this, see what it looks like. Okay. Now we want to scale these squares on the outer edge. The way to do that is to change the pivot point, otherwise it will scale the whole cylindrical object. We want to scale just about the about the individual origins. So now type S. See the neural starting to form as you scale the outside quads. It's going to render that, see what that looks like. Alright, not too bad. Let's go on the front view. Go to select vertex zoom in. I'm going to pick this top ring up here. See if we can grab it. Alright, looks like we did. Let's go ahead and extrude. Hit E, followed by return, scale, and we're just going to move it in just a little bit. Like that. Go ahead and lift it up. Hit extrude, enter, scale, zero, enter, lift it up just a little bit. There we go, Let's see what that renders like. And there you go. Thanks for watching.